It's Friday. That means it's time to welcome you to the weekend. Enjoy some great ideas to keep you entertained. Tracy McPherson from Visit Omaha, Omaha's official tourism authority. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Absolutely. We're going to talk about Nebraska Balloon and Wine Festival. Yeah, this is a really fun one. Yeah. Not only do you get to go and taste a lot of regional wines, mm -hmm. but they'll have a lot of wines from other places like Napa Valley, France, Italy, oh, wow. Spain. So this is really going to be a great one. There are 15 different wineries. Each winery will bring a multiple of wines. So you'll be able to go in and taste lots of different things. Mm. There'll be live entertainment throughout the weekend as well. But one of the real showstoppers on this one is the hot air balloons. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, they light up the night sky. It's really a fun thing to see. The balloons launch tonight and Saturday at 7 p.m., weather permitting, of mm -hmm. course. You can purchase a ticket to ride one of the hotter balloons if that's on your bucket list of things to do. <laughs> but keep this in mind. Last year, they did sell out of okay. tickets for the balloon. Okay. So keep that in mind. Get your ticket early. And uh, this year, they'll also have a kid zone with okay. pony rides, bounce house, obstacle course for kids, that sort of thing. Yeah, just so the, lots of things to do to keep the whole family busy. Yeah, just the glow itself is pretty. Watch it oh light up. So it's pretty it is. cool. A lot of people go just for that. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of night, we got the Nike hike at yes. the Fontenot Forest. Yeah. So if you've been to Fontenot Forest during the day, you yeah. know there are lots of different paths to hike mm -hmm. for lots of different skill levels, lots of bird washing, that sort of thing. Yeah. But at night, the forest takes on a totally different feel. Um, this is a guided tour, okay. so you don't have to worry about being in the forest oh, at good. night by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this is a guided tour. It's a three to five mile hike. Um, one of the cool things that they'll do during this hike is an owl call. So they will try to get the owls to call back, which they oftentimes do. Huh. And sometimes the owls will fly close enough to you where you can see them. Wow. Yes, when they do the owl call. So I think that's very cool. They'll also uh, point out a lot of other nocturnal animals. You may not be able to see them, but you'll hear them. Yeah. And sometimes I think that's even better yeah. than seeing them, right? Okay. Yeah, so this is one of those hikes that they don't recommend for small children. Yeah. You need to be 10 or older to do this hike. Okay. So if you are a teenage parent of teenagers, mm -hmm. this might be a fun family thing for you All guys right. to do. If Sounds you have teenagers. Sometimes right. it's hard to find things to do. And we got the One Community Cultural Festival. This is the first time that this festival will be put on in oh. Omaha. And this is going to look like people from all over the world, yeah. but a lot of these performers are from live and work right here in Omaha, which is, I think, very cool. It's an opportunity to learn about diverse cultures right here in our community. There'll be a drum team uh, with dancers from Africa, a Filipino culture dance, Chinese drummers. There'll even be some martial arts uh, demonstrations and uh, a Korean bamboo dance, lots hmm. of other performers as well. You'll be able to shop unique items, and there'll also be food and drink for sale as well, and the proceeds will go to flood victims here in our area. Oh, great, yeah, great, so good a benefit great there. opportunity. Awesome. Well, Visit Omaha has several other things that are going on this weekend and that are worth checking out. If you miss anything, it's online at KETV.com. Tracy, thanks for coming in, yeah. and welcome to the weekend.